Welcome to High Biz News. Myself, Kangsha Ganga Puram, and you're watching National Business News. Triple IT Hyderabad's annual R&D showcase this year on campus at Gachiboli began with a big draw. It is a two-day show held on 16th and 17th of March. This year showcases in themed interconnect, highlighting the link between the algorithms, ethics, and society. The showcase includes 300 plus searching posters, demos, and models from Triple IT HS, 28 research centers, roundtable discussions on responsible AI, and rethinking and thinking in the age of AI. Research reflections and a research startup showcasing by the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship CIE. As part of the Malinia Muktam Nao Kerlam campaign, the local self government department LSGD has decided to ramp up pre monsoon cleaning activities across the state in coordinating with the various other departments and people's participation. A GO issued by the Department of in this regarding has set a deadline of May 20 for the completion of the all cleaning activities, including proper waste management, mosquito control measures, and cleaning of water body. The LSGI level secretaries will be responsible for the pre-monsoon cleaning activities which are set to begin in the last week of the march Telangana State's first private university, Anurag University, the 17th annual day held at its campus in Maidpalli in the city. Ansang hero Gaddam Samaya, Chindu Yakshaganam, theatre artist and the Padma Shri awardee from the Jengao in Telangana was the chief guest and addressed the 6,000 plus gathering. He shared his journey of hailing from a humble background with a very little education and how he has performed 19,000 shows through which he addressed many social issues like total literacy and environmental protection and promoted this ancient art. <music> Farm ERP, a leading agri-tech organization, took a significant stride towards prioritizing the well-being of its female working force. Embracing the theme of mental health and wellness, the company organized a special session featuring esteemed clinical psychologist Ms. Ketiki Joshi to spark meaningful dialogue on the mental health. The event served as a nurturing platform for the female employees to engage in candid discussions surrounding the mental health challenges often encountered in both professional and personal spheres. The Day 3 of Global Spirituality Mahotsav in association with the Ministry of Culture and Heartfulness being held at the world's largest meditation center at Kana Shanti Vanam, the headquarters of Heartfulness, brought together the spiritual leaders from different beliefs like Dr. Imam Umar Ahmad Ilyasi, AIIO, Venerable Bhikkhu Sangasena, Sri Riteshwar and Archie Bishop Anthony Pujala Ji. The key session in the presence of Rev Dadaji, Global Spiritual Guide of Heartfulness, was aimed at bringing the interfaith nets dialogues and reflecting on the significance of the spiritual in daily life to establish world peace. <music> In a historic milestone for the India's agriculture sector, India's first integrated oil palm processing unit by 3F Oil Palm started its commercial operations. The factory situated at the rowing in the lower Dibang Valley in Arunachal Pradesh carries forward the mission palm oil, represents a pivotal step in India's journey towards self-resilience in the edible oils. Catalyzed by the national mission on the edible oils, oil palm, this integrated oil palm project will include a cutting-edge oil palm factory, a zero-discharge fluent plant, a palm waste based power plant and additional structures and go down for the support of the purposes. <music> In a significant development for the educational finance landscape in India, Vardhana Finance announces the successful completion of its acquisition of Indian school finance company's ISFC school portfolio. The deal value of Rs 126 crores and has over 1,000 schools across the 14 states in India. This transaction marks a pivotal turn in the sector representing a meaningful passing of the torch from the ISFC to Vardhana, echoing a legacy of commitment and a vision for the future of affordable education in India. Thank you for watching. Signing off. Keep watching Highways News.